All right, so this is crazy. I just had my plumber come out here. Uh, this is the house that we have a leak coming from the second floor to the first floor, water through the ceiling. And uh, we ran all the water again through the tubs, the faucets, the toilets, no leak. It's crazy, it's insanity. So we've got another theory now, check it out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the other side of this house. And uh, we believe uh, given that the water leak is coming very close to a pipe, typically the way that your overall water flow and your pipes work is you always need to have an, a, an avenue where air can come in uh, through the pipes to let it be able to actually drain. Uh, that's uh, gravity helping us out here. So now we've got a new theory. Check it out. So if y'all see that pipe over there, that's called a boot. We think one of those two might actually have what's called improper flashing or something that's causing water to go through uh, and under the pipe whenever it's raining. So uh, I just called the roofer. He's going to come out. We're going to take a look at that boot and uh, see if that's been the cause of all these issues. That's really crazy, y'all. Um, I feel terrible for the renters, but you know, last time we did this a week ago where we fixed it by removing the toilet and putting a new, a new wax ring, um, a week passed. They were using the toilet. They were showering. No issues. Uh, only the is they to supposedly took a bath yesterday, but coincidentally, in that same day, it was the same day where we had a tremendous amount of rain. So um, I'm hoping that it's the boot issue. Um, hopefully your Labor Day went better than mine. All right, so the roofer just finished doing his work. He said he did apply uh, some sealant. He noticed there was probably 90 to 95% chance that there was some water coming through around that boot area. So, uh, hey, fingers crossed uh, that this fixes the issue. I do think that he overcharged me a little bit into paying $350. But um, it's Labor Day, so I, I took that into account. Normally, I'd expect for, yeah. you know, the what he did for it to be around a couple, you know, $250, $200. Um, but that's okay. Uh, he came really quickly, and I, you know, I don't want to be out here all day. So, worth the money. Also, another thing to update folks on is uh, we're going to leave the, seal, the ceiling hole unpatched for a week. Uh, I've asked the renters to please just continue using all the facilities as they normally would. Baths showers toilet faucets and also to give time to make sure that it rains again here in georgia i want to make sure that there's no more indications of water intrusion uh, and hopefully this puts this horrible situation for them and for me uh, it's getting a little costly now but uh, it's part of being in this line of business and uh, let's hope for the best here